What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Tesla is not only working on bug fixes for current releases, working on FSD beta releases, but our obviously next big dot update that comes every four weeks or so. And this time it's in the form of 2022.28. And a couple of the new features have leaked courtesy of not a Tesla app and their sources. They have released two new features that should be coming in this update. Nothing is groundbreaking by any means. Some have been rumored for a while, but I wanna go ahead and jump into these two and they are gonna be minimizing Tesla theater and the ability to view multiple route navigation so you can select the best route you choose while driving. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Make sure to thumbs up this video, guys. It really helps. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go. So I don't even wanna say that these are top requested features. These are just a couple of tweaks that will improve your quote unquote quality of life while using your Tesla. So first thing we have Tesla now adding the ability to view alternate routes. And if you jump into this, this has been rumored for a while and Green the Only actually saw this in a uh, release months ago, I believe. And some users have actually seen this popping up from time to time while driving in their Tesla. So as you can see here, it reads Tesla has arguably the best navigation maps out there, but it's never had the ability to actually use different routes. It gives you one set route and you use it, take it or leave it. But according to a source, Tesla is now bringing alternate routes to their navigation system. This has actually been in play around the world since 2022.12. As you can see here, Tesla added alternate routes in Japan, and it was previously even available in China already. So aside from China, Japan, and now the US, I'm not sure where else it'll go to my international viewers here, but it is something to keep an eye on. So definitely one new exciting update. And then the second one is just another ease of use type scenario here. Tesla is now going to have add the ability to minimize Tesla theater. So for those of you that use this regularly, they actually have not had this ability when it goes full screen to change many options aside from like volume and certain other controls while it's in full screen and you cannot minimize it. Now in 2022.28, we're actually going to get the ability to minimize a video in the Tesla theater. This will allow you to reduce the size of the video that's playing so you can access other car functions. Definitely nice to see. Again, it's one of those things you don't technically think of uh, as being, you know, necessity, but it's nice to have. So you can see right here, these two arrows pointing in at an angle at each other. This is the symbol to actually minimize the actual uh, theater app. So not too bad, a couple of extra added functions and tapping on the video will bring it back to full screen or tapping on the actual logo will minimize it. So let me know what you guys think. Are these anything very beneficial that you guys wanna see? I'm curious. Thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up this video, stay tuned to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.